hello everyone. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to Fast and Fun Projects with Noreen. I am Noreen Smith, creative, I don't even know what I am these days, product development creative manager with Creative Memories. I don't know if you are, you know, uh, feeling like you come in or go in, you don't even know which way is up these days. We're all so, so busy getting ready for the holidays. So I'm ever so grateful that you've decided to join me today, spend a little bit of time with me, whether you're just kind of checking in to see what I'm working on or you're actually working on your own projects today. So, and again, whether you're joining me live or joining me or watching this after the fact on the replay, thanks so much for spending some time with me today. So it looks like, yeah, I'm getting some comments coming in. There's Mina from Red Deer, Alberta, just a little bit north here uh, from, from me in Calgary, Alberta. We've got Australia joining in. There's Sue from Oregon. Hi, Sue. Always great to see you. Uh, Boston, Stillwater, Minnesota. Uh, we've got a whole bunch of gals coming in now. More Australians joining us. New Hampshire. I see a few comments about the weather and I know that everywhere in North America is, you know, under a deep freeze. I saw pictures of Victoria and Vancouver, BC on the West coast of Canada, and they've had, you know, this much snow. We are at about minus 30 degrees Celsius. So uh, I feel for all of you who are in the deep freeze along with me, although, you know, many of us will have a white Christmas, which is lovely. Good evening, everyone. Maura Gals, Kylie from uh, Australia. We've got Ginny coming in from Woodstock and uh, Jean from North Dakota. Welcome, welcome everybody. So some of you are watching on the Facebook group in the Virtual Crop Facebook group. Some of you are watching on the YouTube channel. You probably heard me say this before, but no matter which platform you're watching us on, Make sure you go to the other platform and join there as well so that you don't ever miss it. So you can go and subscribe to the YouTube channel and make sure you ring the little bell, click on the little bell, and that way you'll receive notifications when we go live, which is always great. And if you're not already a member of the Facebook group, the Virtual Crop Facebook group, make sure you join there. Some of you may have noticed that we had a little uh, video posted a few days ago with the Virtual Crop dates for uh, 2023 and some fun new things that are coming. And yes, you guys asked for sketches with measurements and you will be getting them in our Virtual Crops. So, if you're not already a member of the Virtual Crop Facebook group, you need to go and become one so that you're all ready for all of the fun in 2023. Oh, lots of holiday wishes. Thank you, everybody. Well, we're going to get in the holiday spirit today. Uh, this is the third and final day that I'll be working in my little 8x8 holiday album. So I'm going to do a quick review of some of the things that we've already done finish a few pages and then next week I'm actually not going to be with you for fast and fun projects. I'm going to take a little bit of a break over the holidays, but I will make sure that I record my completed album and post it for you next Wednesday so that if you're still, you know, if you find yourself uh, with a little bit of time over the holidays that you can devote to your finishing off your album, you might get a, a little bit more inspiration, okay? Oh, hello everyone. We've got Arizona. I'm sure it's not quite this cold in Arizona, but welcome everybody. Yeah, not snowing, but it's cold. Let me switch you over to my table here and uh, I feel a sneeze coming on. So hopefully it'll stay away. Hopefully we won't have a coughing fit like we had before, but we'll just roll with it. So if you're just joining us for the first time, or if you haven't seen the previous two Wednesdays, we've been working in my little 8x8 holiday album. Call it whatever you want. Uh, call it December Daily, um, which is a term coined by Allie Edwards. You can call it December Days, December Delights, uh, December to Remember, Documenting December, whatever you like. Basically, it's a small holiday album that celebrates all of the fun things up to uh, the big day. You know, again, whether, um, whether it's Kwanzaa, uh, Christmas, or for our Jewish friends who are just celebrating Hanukkah, all of the holiday preparations 
and being engaged with all of the fun things that are happening so that we're not just focusing on that one day. So that's the whole idea behind here. Now back at the end of August, sorry, not August, October, we created a little eight by eight fast album formula handout for you. And you might remember that I put together uh, a little uh, Huck October Happy Hauntings album. And so we used the cutting guide that's in this little handout and we made several of the different layouts that are in the handout as well. And then I also made it with the seasonal sightings for my holiday album. So again, a great tool. And if you don't already have this, the description will be in the description box above the video if you're on Facebook and below the video if you are watching on YouTube. And apologies, last week there was some com confusion with the links. We're going to make sure that we get all of the links ready for you this time. I'll be double checking those links that they work again after we finish. The second thing that you might want to download if you haven't already is the fun December Days date circles that our fantastic designers created for us. Uh, you'll see that I've used those throughout my album as well. Okay, so let's just do a quick flip through of the pages that I've completed so far, and then I'll share with you what I'm working on today. So first time we got together, we were focusing on sort of the title page. I showed you how I made like a little insert with my December calendar. And then this is going to be for some, you know, little memories and additional journaling. And we made the little pocket for that to just slip right into. We talked about, you know, making the title page of our album, you know, really kind of a double duty. We've got a journaling, we've got a photo, and we've got a title card. I did a few pages that were based on things that were happening on those days. And then I did a few pages that were based on holiday stories, other things that were going on in our family's life. Now, this page I wanted to point out in particular because last week I recognized that I had been using an old tag punch. So I redid all my tags with the current three in one bevel tag punch. And I've re, you know, I finished those off, I've added some fun ribbon. And I did want to show you that I did cut a small slit right in my page protector so that I can slip the uh, tags in and out of the little pocket that I created um, without having to take the, the page out of its protector. So again, the idea here is that my family is going to each write a little bit about Christmas there on those tags, and then they'll tuck back in. And I love the way that the ribbon sort of you know sticks out above the top edge of my, my album. So that was a lot of fun. Um, we did some holiday traditions. Then last week we did a page that has kind of a fun little flip out tag. This is attached to the tag, but the outside or the, uh, I guess the folded part of the tag goes to the outside of the, um, of the page protector. I'm seeing that there's some problems with the video. So my information is telling me that I'm all good. So it may be your connection with the weather. I know that sometimes the weather affects the internet connection. So yeah, if, you're, um, if your uh, internet is cutting in and out, try refreshing. Otherwise, just remember that um, these, these are recorded and you will be able to watch the replay. Okay. So yeah, this was just about my son and I shopping, a little flip out journaling tag. And then this was one that you probably saw posted on the, um, in the Facebook group after we did the live, we did a fun little page where we cut out, we used some of our, um, CCS custom cutting system patterns to kind of create the shape of a mug and then just cut that out. So I've got Christmas in a cup there and then all my journaling on the back of that. So that was a fun one. You've also probably noticed that I've used all of my little date circles as little tabs 
you know, for this side to be able to kind of flip through the book really easily. So again, you can use them however you want. If you have photos and a layout that is about a specific date, you can certainly use the date circles, but there are quite a few uh, fun little icons that match with the seasonal sightings, um, seasonal sightings color palette and the you know the icons and the font etc so in some cases for example in this layout all of these pictures were actually taken at different times so i don't have one specific date for them so both of the little icons that i chose there were more generic okay all right so and then this was i think the last one i'll just show you that i kind of finished off that page as well we cut down an insert, we cut down one of the pocket page protectors, side loading pocket page protectors, and then we just sealed it back up with a strip of decorative paper that was folded in half and uh, adhered on both sides of that cut page protector. So yeah, so we've had lots of fun doing lots of different things in the album. And today I'm going to do a few things. I'm going to be working on um, a page about my Christmas tree, a page about my family's tradition of uh, getting uh, pajamas. And then I also have one about our favorite movies. And I think that's it. So let's get into it here. Reminder that, you know, if you are just adding your photos and journaling, you are ahead of the game. So please don't ever feel like you have to do all of the things that I'm sharing with you. Um, you make this book your own, okay? Uh, I'm seeing that there's a lot of comments about freezing on YouTube. So again, in, on my end here, it seems like it's going okay, but who knows what's happening in your end, neck of the woods with the weather. So apologies in advance if we keep freezing. You may have to watch the replay. So again, apologies. For this layout, I'm going to be documenting, um, documenting, um, putting up our Christmas tree. There's my son Sam helping me out and our finished tree. So those are going to go into those dedicated photo spots that we created back when we made the album. Uh, that particular layout is basically a variation of this layout where we've just flipped the location of the photos and we've placed the strips up at the top. Oh, there's a star inside there. Uh, so you can, again, move these components around. Once you get your, your pieces cut, you can use them to create these layouts or you can arrange them however you like. So that's pretty easy, but I'm going to use the page that we kind of did as, um, as another example of how we can cut one of our pages and make it into a more interactive sort of element. So again, we cut the coffee cup and I did this little one that has the shape of a tree. Let me see if I can grab the, the edge of it. So this is what the other edge looks like. So you can see that I just drew the edge of the tree uh, and cut it out with scissors. This is the leftover. This is the part that we're, we're not going to be using. So I've got my little tree and that's going to go right in the middle here. And then I used some of the seasonal sightings uh, tone on tone paper and I just traced it, just traced that shape that I cut out. And now I'm just going to adhere those pattern paper pieces onto my tree, my tree page. Holy smokes, my tape runner's going crazy there. Over, over shooting the edges. All right, so I'm just gonna add that one there and then I traced it on the opposite side of the same paper for the back, just so that there was a couple of different couple of different colors and variations uh, in what I'm using. So there we go. So that's pretty easy. And now I have a, a little bit more of a decorative page. So now I thought, since I've got that, I've got room actually now for a couple more photos that I could add in. So I printed some 
down at four, three, three by four, three inches by four inches. Trim them down just a little bit so they fit on some three by four mats. And I'm matting them with the same paper, but I'll, I'll put them on the opposite page. So this one I'm gonna put on this page, so I've matted it with the dark green paper. This one is going on the back, so I've matted it with the light green uh, kind of polka dots. So really quick, I'm not going to add my page in today, but you'll get a sense of how it's going to look. There we go. Sorry about the, uh, the live stream, everybody. I guess we can't control the weather, unfortunately. But here's what that page is going to look like. And then for decorating, I thought about a couple of things. First of all, I knew that we had a little Christmas tree tag and a little gold tag in the embellishments um, in the embellishments uh, pack. So I thought that would be nice there. I could do a little bit of journaling there. And because I know that we put up the tree and decorated it, I'm going to have 17 there. And then because we're kind of focusing on stars, I'll put the star there. So I decided that I was going to decorate my little tree with a bunch of cutout stars. You remember our little mini trio punch, our little chubby star. And I just punched a bunch of, um, I've got bronze shimmer and platinum shimmer stars here. And that's just going to kind of echo the fact that Sam, this close-up photo here is of Sam putting the star on the tree. So I'm just going to add a bunch of these lovely little stars to the front and back of my, of my page. And that's sort of going to be what the, the, the layout will look like. So it's all about stars. And then we're mirroring or echoing that idea of stars by using this particular uh, tab on this side. So that's pretty much what that layout is going to look like. Obviously, I'll have to adhere all of these, but I'll just take them off for now so that they're not flying around on my table. But I love that additional little fun page that we've created. And again, it contrasts nicely with the page behind it, no matter which way you're sort of flipping it. And it gives you kind of that little peekaboo effect. You can sort of see the photo behind it, but not all of it. All right, so that looks really fun. Let's move on to the next one here. I'm just gonna move away my little, my little uh, stars. And this layout is all about a little family tradition that we have where we, we always get matching pajamas. And I know many families do as well, so it's a fun thing. So this, this year we got some fun pajamas that had Santa on them. We have the matching Santa socks. And then we've got some t-shirts. Mine says, you know, uh, jolly. And then Shane and Grayson are both nice. And Sam got the naughty t-shirt. So lots of fun with those. And what I thought I would do is I would just be adding those right into Again, the photo spots that we planned for as part of the layout. So those will go on just like that. And then I thought it would be fun to make an insert with a larger page protector. So this, sorry, a larger peekaboo pocket. So this is the five by seven peekaboo pocket. And what I did is my photo printer will print five by sevens, but I put two photos of the boys here uh, onto one five by seven. And then I did a little bit more of a close up photo of Shane and I, my husband and I on the other five by seven. So those are both going to go into the peekaboo pocket. I'll put the one with the, with the boys first there. Might have to trim that down. My photo printer actually, I, or actually I didn't have any five by seven um, photo paper, eight by eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10 sheet. So, it's just a little too big. I'm just gonna trim both, both photos at the same time, just so that we have room to get in there. That should be fine now. 
There we go. So Shane and I on one side and the boys on the other. I always like having um, kind of close up family photos because it really allows me to look back and see, you know, what everybody looks like. So I know you're seeing some of the glare here, but that's going to be our little insert. And I thought it would be fun. Remember, we're talking about kind of uh, adding embellishments outside the box or outside the 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 page in this case. So I thought I'd use this nice big, you know, there's no place like home for the holidays die cut. And it's going to act as a little bit of a flap here. So I'm going to attach that just with regular tape runner adhesive. I'm just kind of lining it up at the bottom. There's a lot of kind of, you know, dead space in these photos. As long as I'm not covering up the boys' faces, I've got a lot of room to work with. So I like that, and that sort of fills up the space down here. And then on the back of that, I don't want to see just, you know, the back side of the house. So I thought I'll take this fun big tag, and I'll just sort of put it on to the back so that it's covering up most of that um, shape. And then on this side, I would just go back to sort of check. And I think what I could do, it kind of looks almost like a moon or something behind there. And on this side, I could either add, I had a little star, I had a little star embellishment from the die cut pack. But you see, I could just add a little star over that little hole and that would cover it up. And again, make that whole little um, kind of vignette. But I could also use a bit of the same kind of ribbon that I've been using for other parts of my album. And that would make it, you know, really feel consistent. So I'm not sure how that'll, how, how that will look, but I'll try both of them and you can see what the finished product will look like when you tune in next week to see my finished album. So let's just tuck that off to the side there. Okay, so that's going to be the little embellishment that goes down here at the bottom and then you can flip it over and I'll be able to journal there and also journal down here. So lots of room for journaling. Now as for the title up here, what I kind of thought is that I would use one of my bows that I created um, back in October when I did the bow creator video for you guys. And I think that I mentioned at the beginning of our December days, we have, we made quite a few different things. We made some bows, we made some, there's another little bow, we made some tags, we made some little envelopes, and we even made some little cards that kind of look like mason jars. So I thought, you know what, those are to be coordinating because I use the seasonal sightings products. So I'm going to try to use those in a few places in my album. So I thought this would be perfect here. That would be a nice little, uh, you know, kind of filler, if you will. And it's perfect because it's got the same... Um, paper that I used here with the Cardinals. And then I could probably come along here and do something like family time as my title. So that's the plan there. So that's our second sort of spread, all about our family tradition. Oh, I think there was actually one about traditions, wasn't there? No, well, maybe I already used that. Yeah, I think I'll use the family time. I think we use the holiday traditions uh, back here on another page. Yeah, holiday tradition. So that would have worked there as well, but I'll use the family time stickers. And oh, there's a few little stars as well that I could add in. And then I'll be able to document, you know, the, about our tradition, our family tradition of having matching pajamas. We are quite uh, we quite enjoy just, you know, sitting around in our jammies and uh, watching movies which is what my next spread is going to be about. So that's the holiday pajamas spread. Now I've made a little note to myself. We still have a few events that are coming up over the next few days before Christmas that I want to incorporate into my book. So I have left a couple of different spots. I thought that this one would be good because it has Christmas lights on it. I thought this would be good for um, pictures of when we drive around, we, we sometimes will do a little drive through the city or parts of the city and take some pictures and look at some of the fun 
um, displays of Christmas lights. So I thought I'll save this one for the Christmas lights photos. And I've actually got another one that I'm going to save. My other son, Sam, his Christmas concert is happening tomorrow. So I'll have some photos that I need to add in here. So I've got a couple of pages left in my holiday album that I'll still need to add photos to. But let's talk about our um, favorite holiday movie spread. Now, when you look at this one, I've got room for four photos, so I thought that that would be a great one to document our favorite holidays. And this is what I did initially. I thought to myself, well, what I'll do is I will take pictures of our TV as if, you know, we're watching the TV, the watching the movie on the screen. So there's Home Alone and there's the new Spirited. So I got them out and then as I started kind of playing around with them, I thought, you know what, they don't really show up very well. So I went back online and I decided it would be much better to actually print off a couple of, um, a couple of photos from the internet of the actual movie sort of posters or the, the movie, you know, titles. So that's what I did. So we've got Home Alone. We've got Spirited, which if you haven't already seen it, so fun uh, with Will Ferrell and uh, Ryan Reynolds. And then our other two favorites, of course, Elf is in there. Oh my gosh, it's just one of our favorites. And then Arthur Christmas, which is a British um, movie. So our, our family really enjoys that. So I thought that would be a lot better than trying to decipher what movie is that that is actually sort of on the screen? So I'll probably just do a little bit of journaling about, you know, these are our favorite movies. We love nothing better than to get, you know, hot cocoa and, uh, you know, hunker down in front of the TV together. So it seems like sometimes during this busy season, that's the only time we're actually sitting together. So one of the cards that I made was, uh, again, we just used that there's no place like home on the previous layout, but I did make a card with that same little die cut um, a while back. And I thought, you know, that would be a fun thing to add in. So I kind of played around and I thought if this was my layout, I could put my card kind of right over here and then I could use the inside of the card for my journaling. So I played around and of course it's not quite the right size but I think the best option is to put the inside flap of a card inside a peekaboo pocket. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach it with a little bit of adhesive just in the center of the back. I'm gonna to try to do this carefully so it doesn't stick before it's meant to stick. So I'm gonna slide it in. And then when I've got it kind of centered, that's when I will adhere it. And actually it doesn't look too bad. I thought maybe I would see the adhesive a little bit more, but it's not too bad. So now when I adhere that and I can flip that open to my journaling, but I can also flip it to the back. So I think that's where I'm going to put a little bit of an embellishment. And for this one, I'm not sure what I'll do. It might be one of our die cuts just get those over here. I do still have a few pieces of the paper left over from our um, initial album creation. So I could always add a little strip of paper there, but I could also add any one of our die cuts. So maybe something like, you know, good tidings of comfort and joy. There's a little birdhouse too, isn't there? A little snowman would be cute, of course. I know I saw, yeah, there's a the little birdhouse. So, you know, we've got home and then the house. So just something like that, which would just cover up that little bit of, of adhesive that you see on the back of that. And then when we flip it open, it's kind of a double flip. We can flip it open for the journaling and then flip it completely open and it will have a nice little embellishment there. Okay, so that's going to be my movie spread. That's going to be the spread all about the fun movies that we like to watch. And I mentioned, let's just flip those out of the way for now. I mentioned I'm going to keep that last um, double page spread 
for documenting my son Sam's Christmas concert. Hope to get some good photos there. So let's talk about our final page. And if you remember way back here, I was talking about an event that we went to. Um, it was called a wassail, a Christmas um, holiday celebration. And Santa was there and we had our picture taken with Santa. So I've made that into kind of a mini holiday card just with um, a sentiment printed onto it. Basically, I saved the photo and I opened it in Canva, which is a free online uh, photo editing program. It's actually a fully robust design program, but you can do things like adding text to your photos. And you might remember that I used it to also create my little four by six calendar. So I just opened our family picture in Canva and then I added, you know, happy holidays from the McAllister family, Christmas 2022. So that photo is going to be kind of the final photo in my album. And then I really loved this little sort of favor or gift card holder that we made that day. So I think there's going to be just enough room to add that right beside the photo. And I can journal right inside here. And again, I'm going to add it outside the pocket so that I can, you know, see the, you know, touch the ribbon and, and see the little details and be able to pull that little card right out anytime I want to. So the photo will be attached to the page. Let's do that right now so I don't forget. I'll adhere the photo right onto the page. If I can get it out. Why is it sticking? I might have some, I might have some uh, tape runner adhesive sticking on the other side there. There we go. Okay. And actually, I, I should mention that I did move this photo mat. This photo mat was actually um, like this. Maybe it was like this, but it was it was sideways. But I knew that our family photo was a portrait orientation. So I actually just carefully peeled up the photo mat and moved it. And now I can just add my final photo. That's all I'm going to put onto that. Uh, page, slip it back into my pocket, and then let's go ahead and adhere the pocket right beside it. I love that. So there, that's that's the final page in my little album. Again, sorry for the glare. So when I do the um, when I do the flip through of the final album, I might have to figure out how to you know, how to not show the glare for you guys so that you can see it a little bit more clearly. Because of course I've been just kind of placing them on top of the page protectors. And now I'll go back in and add everything onto the pages, slip them into the page protectors and they'll be complete. Okay. But you get the idea. And again, you'll be able to see the entire, um, the entire book next week. So it's hard to believe that next week Christmas will have already come and gone, but many of us actually do our documenting of Christmas after the fact. So you'll have lots of time to use some of these ideas that I've shared with you after the holidays. And some of you may be off, some of you may have time to, um, you know, to do some scrapbooking at that point. Let me just see where's my there it is. Okay. So I think that is it for today. Then I think we've actually done quite a bit. I'm so sorry for all of the uh, little glitches that we've had. There we go. That's that one complete. I'm so sorry for all of the little glitches that we've had. Um, I really hope that if you, uh, you know, did get kind of, um, frozen out <laughs> literally and figuratively um, from watching us during the live that you'll be able to go back and watch the replay. So again, our apologies. Sometimes you just can't 
help what the weather does and what you know what happens with uh, technology. But as I mentioned, I am not going to be here next week. I'm going to take a little bit of time off over the holidays as well. But I will film a flip through of my complete album, get all of the rest of these pages that we've talked about today adhered. And then you'll also see the pages about the Christmas lights and Sam's concert. So there'll be two new pages that you won't have seen. And you'll be able to hopefully get a little bit more fresh inspiration next week if you are finishing off your holiday albums. This has been a really fun project. It's been really wonderful to share these ideas with you. Oftentimes we go on to, you know, Instagram or Pinterest and you, you see the ideas, but maybe you don't, you know, execute them. Maybe you don't actually put them into practice. So it's been lots of fun trying out a bunch of different things and sharing how to do them how to incorporate them into your 8x8 holiday albums. And I do hope that you give them a try. I'm looking forward to seeing a lot of completed 8x8 holiday albums at the end of the month when everybody shares their completed albums during the challenge in the virtual crop group. So make sure you're working on those and have them ready to go. Okay, well again, happy winter. <laughs> That's what someone's saying on Facebook. That's the way winter goes, but I hope that you and your family have a wonderful, wonderful holiday, no matter what the weather is, no matter how cold it is where you are, hopefully you make some warm holiday memories together with your family and friends, and I can't wait to see how you document them, okay? So all the best for Christmas, for Kwanzaa, and again, for our Jewish friends who have just celebrated Hanukkah. Um, happy holidays to everybody. And I will see you back here uh, live on January 4th. Fingers crossed that the weather cooperates and we've got smooth sailing. But we're going to be playing with some new products that are launching in early January. So I won't have a checklist for you, but you'll be able to see what I'm playing with once those products have launched. So next week, a filmed video. The week after, I will join you live. Have a great holiday season, everyone. And we'll see you in a couple of weeks. Bye for now.